Bros. Big T here. We're back with another video. We're going to talk about port begging while we also do some cool unboxings of uh, you know, games and stuff that I've gotten recently. I recorded the stuff some time ago, obviously, but I'm um, just going to go ahead and show you that while I talk about these port begging situations. Now, obviously, uh, I'm happy to see certain games coming to the Switch like Doom, Wolfenstein, things of that nature. Um, you know, Wolfenstein, I guess, would technically be a port, even though, uh, you know, it's, it was announced before it came out um, uh, on the other consoles that it was coming. But, you know, um, you know, Doom, Skyrim, all this stuff. Uh, I am looking forward to these games. Obviously, I talk about the Skyrim. I'm buying it for, like, the third time now. Um, I'm looking forward to playing L.A. Noir again, um, but I would never say, guys, go out and buy this stuff. Please buy this stuff. If you don't think it's something that you would want to play, um, I wouldn't ask you to buy that because I wouldn't do that kind of stuff. But um, you know, don't just support something. Don't support stuff hoping to get more support. I mean, that's just not how it works. I don't know what's happening in the industry today. Uh, gaming today is it's gotten out of hand. It's gotten nuts. I don't know if it's the onslaught of like, uh, you know, the Kickstarter, the crowdfunding nature that got these publishers and uh, game companies going bananas and creating new rules and uh, asking for things from the the you know from the from the fans, asking for more than your sixty dollars, asking you to beg to bring something basically asking you to be a, an advertiser oh go to twitter and facebook's and go to the website and ask us if show us that you want this game like fuck you like i'm not doing that i'm i'm not gonna be doing that i'm never a fan of that um i usually don't say anything about it when fans want to do that that's fine but for me i'm not doing it and because it just be it just begets more BS from these companies. Um, I'll check out my Sonic statue. It's, it's balling. It's baller status. <laughs> um, but yeah, like obviously, uh, Namco, Bandai Namco is asking people to beg for project cars. Asking Switch owners to beg for project cars. Of all the crazy, of all the games to ask Nintendo fans to beg for after the debacle from the original project cars on Wii U, how they used Wii U fans, thirsty Wii U fans who were expecting to get a cool racing game um, after they used us to promote that game. They want us to promote uh, project cars too now for them by begging uh, Nintendo fans to, or for, by having Nintendo fans beg for the game, go to Twitters and all this stuff and light up the Twitter, Twitterverse, light up their Facebook verse all this nonsense and they want us to go out and uh you know get get it popping for their game i'm not doing that first of all after project i mean did, were they not paying attention was ben and namco, namco not paying attention to how nintendo fans felt slighted after project cars that the first one and how the developers were talking smack and how they said that uh, Project Cars 2 was not likely to come to Switch, and the the Switch is popping. You know, the Switch is popping now, and they want us. They want to ride some of that. You know, some of that. Uh, you know, some of that love. They want to get some some shine because the Switch is popping. You know, if the Switch is doing so well, we shouldn't have to ask for your damn game. So you can kiss my black ass. I'm not asking you to put a game on a console that is your job as a publisher that is your job as a developer and what the hell is a publisher saying that oh if you ask the developers maybe they'll make it happen ain't you the publisher ain't you the boss don't you pay the bills don't you tell the developers what to do that's how it works when did this whole situation change where the publishers are asking fans to ask the developers what i mean this is getting out of hand this situation is asinine and well, I, I got a video called uh, the industry is backwards and um, I was supposed to put that out before this but I've been holding on to this footage for you know this unboxing stuff that I wanted to do and then I heard about this nonsense with Bandai Namco and 
you know, trying to get Nintendo fans to hype up their game. Man, they can kiss my ass. Project Cars wasn't all that to begin with. We were just happy to see somebody with some fervor, you know, giving some fervor, so giving Nintendo console, the Wii U, that was, uh, you know, in the out and outs back in the day. We were happy to see a company uh, show it some love, and it was all BS, it was all bullshit from the beginning. There was no real love. They just wanted to use uh, that energy that the Nintendo fan had during the Wii U especially, and still with the Switch, they want to use our energy to promote the bullshit game. Like, no, no, I'd rather play 10, I'd rather play 20, uh, 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 what do you call it, racing games ported from the damn mobile phone before I buy and support Project Cars ever. Never gonna happen, not gonna do it. I'm not telling y'all what to do, that's not what I do here. If you wanna go out there and ask for this game, you go right ahead. I'm not doing it. Um, no way. There's no way. And it's just, it's ridiculous. Like, I didn't, I didn't say to fans, because I want to play Skyrim. Um, I want, I like that Bethesda's bringing support, you know, with Doom and Wolfenstein. Even though I like that, I'm not telling you what to do in that situation. I'm not going to tell you what to do in this situation. I'm just telling you what I'm doing and what I'm not doing. And I'm not promoting Bandai Namco or uh, whoever the developer is of this game. I forgot Project Cons. Like I call, I had a video back in the day called Project Cons and how they con a Nintendo fan into supporting this game and boosting this game up for them. And uh, hopefully they did well. They got some sales. I mean, it, it did okay, I guess. And now nobody cares about Project Cons too, because right now it's all about Forza and it's all about um, uh, what's the GTA Sport, whatever for PS4. Nobody checking for no damn Project Cars. And now they trying to come out and get some, you know, get some spark started with the Nintendo fan base, get us popping and whatnot. And that's just not gonna happen. Oh, look at my Metroid. Got my Metroid uh, <clears throat> uh, soundtrack. Metroid Samus Returns. My keychain. Blinging with my keychain. All right, let me stop playing. But for real, I mean, this is just insane what these companies try to get away with these days. And it's just, it's only getting worse. And I said, it's the mentality, it's the handout mentality that has that has come over this industry. They want a damn handout. You got AAA publishers, you got AAA studios looking for uh, the console maker to to promote their game, to the console, ask the console maker to pay for their advertising. I mean, what the hell is going on in video games right now? And uh, it's just, I don't know, some of these new wave gamers don't understand this is not how it's supposed to work. They all, a lot of these guys seem to be, oh yeah, let's, you gotta support these dudes. This is not a charity. This is not video game welfare. You make a good game, we support it. Sometimes we don't. It's just a way of business. It's just how it works. Maybe you made a good game and people don't support it. That happens. But you can't be out here asking people to beg I man i'm not begging for nothing there's too many games to play switch has got plenty of games coming there's only that's only going to continue we're going to get racers from bigger uh third parties hey, we're going to get um obviously we, we got um what's the the racing game coming uh, that's going to be a port from mobile phones or whatever that looks pretty good i'll be happy with that i like my mario kart uh, i like my futuristic racers on there um, I would hope to get some more, you know, simulation type stuff coming, popping. I'm I, anything. I would play anything before I play some damn Project Cons. Not doing it. Not gonna happen. I have the the ability to buy Project Cars on my other consoles if I want to. Haven't done it. Won't do it. I won't even buy it used. That is, I have no interest in Project Cons. And I hope some of y'all out there feel the same way. Hey, look at my Super Nintendo NES Classic controller. It's the exact same. It's crazy how it's the same controller. And it fits, you know, um, it fits this little miniature console, even though it's, you know, it comes with two, which I didn't realize. Look how tiny the 
this SNES classic is. I'm, I'm off top, not really, because this is part of the video too. I want you to check out my uh, special unboxings here while I go on this rant about these bogus ass companies with their hands out, begging, nope, not doing it. You know, it's uh, a lot of a lot of these companies have come out. You know, they did it on Wii U and they're doing it on Switch as well, where they come out and they talk about, oh, this is coming to the Switch. Um, when they have no, they don't even have a damn development kit, <laughs> and they're trying to get love from you know Switch fans, Nintendo fans who are very excited about the Switch. They're trying to get a piece of that uh, energy, trying to get a piece of that pie, that notoriety, and nope, not doing it, not happening. Um, Project Cons can go somewhere else with that nonsense because I will not be supporting it, not buying it. So yeah, that's it. Hope you enjoyed my unboxings here, my little rants. Well, what do you guys think about this situation? Are you gonna support it? I'm not, as I said, this is bullshit. I ain't supporting it. Let me know, let T know in the comments below how you feel. As always, thank you for watching and listening, and I'll see you fools next time. Peace out. Oh yeah, one more thing. Play Nintendo fools. <laughs>